video of the cockpit, so here it is. Uh, it's currently first thing in the morning, and we're uh, just coming back from mission from Goose Bay on my way to Gander. I thought I'd take a moment to show you what the inside of the Cormorant looks like. Uh, that's the outside, beautiful sunrise over the clouds. Uh, looking inside, here's my primary instrument uh, display. Uh, as you can see, we're doing 116 knots at 7,000 feet on a heading of 158. 157, 156, as my co-pilot is turning. Uh, we're pulling about 71% torque. We're not climbing and descending, and it's plus one degree outside. Getting a little closer, there's the airspeed. There's the altitude. The number underneath is the altimeter setting. This is the artificial uh, horizon, which is the most critical piece of information we have. Along this side is the torque setting. Currently turning 69% torque. And you can see engines 1, 2, and 3 are all pulling the same. Uh, TIT, that's the, the hottest engine, is currently 773 degrees centigrade. Plus 1 degrees the outside uh, temperature. And 102 on the rotor, we always fly at 102%. Uh, low height setting of 99, that's our, uh, that'll trigger if, uh, if we descend below 999 feet uh, above the ground level, we'll get a bit of a warning, and we can adjust it to whatever we want, uh, just spin it down and spin it back up, but for IFR cruising, we normally keep it that high, and this little contraption here is the ball, to see if the ball is centered. Along to the sides, we've got the various uh, standby uh, instruments, those are backup instruments, AI, airspeed, Altitude, turn and slip, and an old school clock. Down here is our navigation display. Uh, again, this shows the rotor. Speed, 102 sitting there. Uh, we're currently tracking on a GPS needle uh, towards the destination of Blah Blah. And we can see the winds right now are 143 true, so they're coming from uh, 143 degrees true. And they're at 55 knots, which is why I'm going so slow at 73 knots ground speed. It is going to take me a long time to get home. What else we got in the core uh, We got our GPS. This is how we primarily yeah, nav. Uh, I knew the wrong way around. Um, so right now, as you can see, we're going to Blossom Lawn, a track of 153. It's about 117 nautical miles to go. Estimating uh, 1 hour 36 minutes to get there, which will be 1443 Zulu. Uh, safe altitude around here is 3,000. 
and uh, oh, it just flies dark like that. And should something come out of spec, it'll come up. It'll come out of the screen. Oh, what else can we show inside the cockpit? Uh, those are some our FMSs where we can uh, not really FMSs actually, where we can bring up all sorts of uh, information related to communications, our transponders, as well as the aircraft uh, systems. I won't go in depth into that because it's quite a bit. Uh, that's our radar control, that's our autopilot control, and you can see all the different autopilots mode there. Bar hold, rad hold, vertical speed hold, indicated airspeed hold, heading hold, nav and approach modes. And this is for transition down, so those of you who've seen the video uh, of me approaching the boat in the fog, that's how we do our transition down, those are buttons we press. Some more autopilot controls, radio controls there, park brake. Landing gear control, and then it's the exact same thing on the other side. And then moving up top, those big three things are the engine controls. They stay up there. We'll see if we can get out of the sun there. Uh, maybe not. That's the rotor brake, you can see. And up there is our fuel panel, fuel one, two, three, and all our fire lights and fire bottles. Uh, we have four fire bottles for engine bay one, two, three, and the APU bay. And they can uh, talk to each other in a way. So if I had an engine fire on number one, I could fire the uh, bottle number one. And if it didn't put out the fire, I could uh, swap it over to fire bottle number three, and it would go into bay one, which is kind of a cool feature. I've never pressed one in my life, fortunately, I guess you could say. Uh, fuel switches, boost pumps, that's for fuel transfer switches. And then there's some other random switches for stuff. And then coming down is all our electrical and anti-ice systems. Up. Uh, sorry for the twisting around. Those are all our circuit breakers. We have circuit breaker panels everywhere in the cockpit. And uh, they're for all the different electrical systems we have. So anyways, that was a quick uh, and dirty seven or eight minutes of uh, what the